guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Tamara Judge's response to the unbreakable fight after Gretchen Rossi and Slade Smiley Diz. Oh my god, you guys, it has not been 24 hours since I released my last video in which I was telling Tamara Judge all of those people that you pissed off when you were a housewife at the top of your game, all of those people that you bullied were going to take a victory lap in you being fired. I just, I just told you this. I mean, what part don't you get? I said, expect it, leave it alone. Water under the bridge. You no longer work there. It is what it is. Of course it's going to hurt, but it hurt them when you bully them. Leave it alone. I see no point in trying to carry on old fights, old feuds, when you don't work there anymore. What sense does it make? But did you listen to anything I had to say? Not one peep of it. None of it. El Zippo. Nothing. Because here she is the following morning responding to the haters, okay? Who's the hater today? That would be Gretchen Rossi. The beautiful Gretchen Rossi. Isn't Gretchen pretty? But I will say in Tamara's defense, she didn't start it, but she needs to ignore it. All of it. All of it. Okay, so let's go over how this latest feud rose its ugly head this morning. So we all know when the news hit the airwaves that Tamara was fired, um, she, she, at the time she was acting like she was quitting the show. You know, at the time when the news broke that she was quitting, everyone behind the, new, the scenes knew she was being fired. Gretchen and her husband Slade Smiley, okay? We remember that couple, okay? Slade, you know, he loves to date housewives as a hobby, but I do believe he's married to Gretchen. Don't quote me on that. I think these two are married now, but they've been together forever. When uh, Slade first came on the show, he was dating Joe. Remember Joe? I need to do a biography on Joe. Uh, whatever happened to him. Uh, he was dating Joe, and then he did, oh, and then he dated Lori Peterson, and then he moved on to Gretchen. Okay. So them two were toasting. Yay, Tamara's out of here. Woohoo. Okay. But that was when it first hit. This has been two days now, okay? So today on Instagram, one of Tamara's fan base, fan clubs, what are they called? Fan clubs, uh, posted this and it says, Gretchen and Slade broke asses, literally had date night in honor of Tamara leaving. Bravo, better not bring them back. Gretchen works with a fraudulent CBD company, has a baby with a broke deadbeat and face looks like flounder <laughs> in drag. So bless girl. <laughs> Flounder, really, fan group? F Flounder! Now, just in case you didn't see it, this is what Gretchen and Slade said. Tonight is the best <laughs> night ever. We are celebrating. Yay! We're driving up to LA right now. Uh, we're gonna go meet some friends. We are so freaking happy right now. So we are getting a date night. Yep. And then they ended the video by toasting, saying something like good over evil. Now, is that that bad? To be referred to as evil? I mean, it's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I wouldn't mind if people called me evil. I would just ignore it. You have to ignore it. Because if you reply, you become just as petty as the person that's doing the bashing, okay? So I thought Tamara was above that. False alarm. Here she goes, people. She's replying. She's talking to her fan club that posted it. She said, of course they did. Please put me out of my misery. If I'm still talking about the housewives seven years after I got fired, I legit feel sorry for these two. Now, you guys know how I feel about it. I think she shouldn't have responded. But since she did, we might as well analyze what she's saying. I mean, it has been seven years, Gretchen. Like, when are you going to let it go? Seven years? You're a mother now. You're a wife now. Tamara's supposed to be in your past. But if she's not, I can understand why. And, you know, I need to explain it for Tamara so she can quit responding. Why is Gretchen so mad? Does the term naked wasted, naked wasted ring a bell? That's what she said. We're gonna get, we're gonna get Gretchen naked wasted. Does all the bullying that you guys did against her, in my opinion, because you know, she was a threat to you guys, you and Vicky, um, so mean to her, does that ring a bell? Do I have to go over, over everything? That scars people, okay? It scars people. But the biggest reason I would say that Gretchen's having a hard time letting it go, does the name Jay Fotolog ring a bell? Tamara, does Jay ring a bell? 
You know, the guy that you claim that Gretchen had an affair with? You tried to out her on national television. And not only did you try to out her, you tried to out her when her sick boyfriend was in the hospital with cancer. You tried to break them up. And you tried to embarrass her. Now, I'm not saying Gretchen did have an affair with this guy or she didn't. That's water in the past. I'm just telling you why her scars run so deep. I mean, really, Tamara, you almost got her cut out of the will. I would kind of feel the same way, too. I mean, no one wants it to be cut out of the will. Remember, this guy was rich. What was her sick boyfriend's name? Jeff. That was it. You almost got Jeff to cut her out of the will. Of course her scars run deeper than probably, that's probably your worst enemy that, that I can remember. It's probably, but you know, you, you seem to have a lot. You know, you're on the show 12 years. You kind of develop, you know, like a boatload. No offense. Now to Tara's fan club, I know you guys are hurt and shocked and never seen this coming. As a matter of fact, I don't think anyone saw this firing coming. It was sudden. So I get your anger, but you guys have to stop stirring up trouble. I know you guys think you're taking up for her by going in on her haters, but all it's doing is reminding her of people talking about her behind her back. And she's going to get angry. And you guys are going to drag her back into this negative world of arguing. Leave it alone, fans. I got it. I got it. You guys are in mourning right now. Got it. You know, it was sudden. No one knew. I mean, Andy Cohen, he, he could have gave her a heads up. I mean, my goodness. But no one saw it coming, including Tamara. But if you guys keep talking about it and keep standing up for her, all you're going to do is get her going again. That's all you're going to do, fan club. Now, listen, you guys have to love her from a distance for now. Like, give it a couple weeks. Just give it a couple weeks. She needs enough time to move on from the situation. And it looks like she is. It looks like she's getting closer to that time. So she posted on Instagram that working at HGTV would be her dream job. That's good, isn't it? She's looking past Housewives. She's thinking, well, maybe I can do other things with my life on television. And she admitted that she wants to stay on television. Now, you guys got to give her the space and the time that she needs to move past Housewives. It's coming. I have a feeling it's coming. So that's my Housewives news for you today. What I want to know in my comments section is who thinks Tamara needs to stop responding to the haters? Because, unfortunately, there's a lot of them. Or if you think she's doing right by standing up for herself, let me know that also in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you next time. Bye.